Gilmo from up high reveals plenty of open spaces over its 24 square miles, but as you take a closer look, you'll find a downtown with award-winning dining, businesses, and neighborhoods right along Lake Elmo Avenue. And like the early years when Lake Elmo was a tourist destination, the lakes hold a special place in the hearts of residents. You know, it's pretty old downtown where the train used to bring people from St. Paul out here to recreate at the lake. With easy access to the metro, the population has seen a significant increase in recent years, and recently elected mayor Charles Cadenhead, like many, moved here to raise his family. We took a rainy walk with him to talk about Lake Elmo and finding a balance between those who want the city to remain rural and those who see a need for change. There is a special character to having the open spaces, and um, but at the same time, we, we all know that populations are growing and we have an attractive area to live in, so how do we do that without um, further compromising some of, the, some of the strengths that the community has? Caden Head, who grew up in a small southeastern Minnesota town, graduated from the University of Minnesota with a degree in civil engineering. He served on the Lake Elmo Planning Commission before running for mayor in 2020, enjoying knocking on doors. In general, I like talking to people, and so it was pretty easy to do and uh, you know, get those steps in, <laughs> some exercise in on the way. He's worked in transportation for 26 years, including the Minnesota Department of Transportation and the Anoka County Highway Department, and says he feels a passion and a need to serve, coaching sports and volunteering for community initiatives and events since moving to Lake Elmo in 2005. We've got the Washington County Library downtown, which I know my kids have used, my boys primarily, have used quite a bit. Recognizing that services cost money, he hopes to broaden the tax base by partnering with businesses and attracting new ones, while maintaining Lake Elmo's unique landscape. There are currently several projects in the works, including a community park in the Old Village and designs to combine City Hall and the fire station. You can see the fire department's doing some maintenance on the, but see the nice thing is, they're doing the maintenance outside here. Um, it's really tough in the winter months, so the new facility that's being built will help accommodate being able to do the maintenance and fixing or repairs inside the building, which would be nice. Caden Head would like to get the city set on a sustainable roadway maintenance plan, budgetable on an annual basis, anticipating future growth and more wear and tear on city streets. I think we're somewhere around 11,000 people right now, which is vastly different than the six to 7,000 when I moved out here in 2005. And though he's just several months into his term, his time as mayor has further connected him to the people of Lake Elmo, their concerns and their hopes for the future. In Lake Elmo, and um, my own opinion is it's to serve the residents and the businesses here, but really city government's here to provide public safety, a good infrastructure, and parks and recreation for the community. 